Hey friends, welcome back to Sun Cherry Farm. Today I'm going over to one of my best friend's house and we are going to do a full garden tour. I know that you are going to love it. Okay friends, we are here at Winsong Urban Homestead with my friend and she is going to give us a tour of her gardens and of her animals that she has here. Here in the front of her home she has a variety of annuals and perennials. This flower here, Penny you want to tell us what you have here? It's a red dahlia. And some of the other flowers you have in this area? We have uh, New Guinea impatiens. We have the leftovers from daffodils and tulips. We've got mums, zinnias, hostas, uh, double click cosmos, every color of zinnia under the sun. We have double extreme dahlias right here. This is four o'clock. These are the variegated kind. They come back every year. They're the tuberous kind. So once you plant them, you don't have to plant them again. And this is an ornament that she got for her garden at Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Calendula, two different varieties. One is the red, dark orange, and yellow. We have more dahlias. We've got hot peppers. And actually, if you plant your hot peppers with your flowers, it attract the, the flowers attract more insects, therefore more pollination, therefore more peppers. bed. This is mostly herbs. We've got hollyhocks in the very back. Uh, one, two, three different kinds of bell peppers. We have basil, comfrey, red calendula, yellow calendula. We have astabels. We have thyme. We have lavender. I think we're at the end of the season for chamomile. And this is my oregano paradise, which is where we pick our oregano and dry it. And this is our next bed. This is a mixture of flowers and vegetables. We have uh, radishes, we have terenia, we have astabels, we have basil, we have double giant California zinnias, marigolds, um, a little bit of everything here. And we have couple of small hot pepper plants and then the planter is filled with portulacas, the doubles. And it's absolutely beautiful. When it gets hot in the heat of the day, it is gorgeous. And over in the corner, we have the double click cosmos. And they are just beautiful. And then we'll head up to the gate. This is just the beginning.
so a couple months ago, was it? Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly when, but I came over and helped her put up the cattle panels on the T-post. And the way she does her tomatoes is she plants them right in between the two T-post and then they just grow and the cattle panel helps them stay up. What kind of tomatoes do you have planted in here? These are pink ox hearts, ice glacier, and uh, paste tomatoes right here. And then we've got a wall of marigolds all the way down, and volunteer tomatoes from last year. Bell peppers. All the onions we started from seed. We've got Blue Lake bush green beans. We've got three, I don't know, 25 foot rows of them. We've got heavy duty tomato racks because the wind up here can be bad and relentless and unforgiving when it gets really windy and they get really big, they'll knock a loaded tomato bush over. So this, it will not be wind blown. We just mix the seeds together and put them in the ground. Then we have right here is Minnesota midgets. A gardening group friend sent those to me from Michigan and said that they're great. Fantastic. Some tomatoes on there already. Those are cherry tomatoes in that one? Those are cherries, yeah. Okay. They're the bigger ones. And the elderberries are up there. The bucket gardens to the right. And you make your own elderberry syrup? Elderberry syrup, a good tonic, good immune booster. Fantastic. Those bushes are only three years old. And you have a second one to help with pollination. Mm -hmm. The second variety. Bucket garden. These are all paste tomatoes. And one hot pepper in the middle. And you made your own container holder. Oh, yeah. They have a lot of plans online. You can find them anywhere. Just tell them, you know, five-gallon bucket garden container. And there's a particular site that I watch called Hollis and Nancy Homestead. Fantastic. You'll love them. They can teach you a lot. I see you have that's a greenhouse and you built it this year correct it was built in February okay that's how we started everything here just about and then you have cane poles for trellis building that'll be later on in the year got some more bucket garden got some parsley and some more paste tomatoes and two lemon trees Blackberries are three years old. It doesn't take long to start them. And 
they're loaded. I feel jam coming on. Your blackberries look so much better than mine. Nah. Nah. See, I do different than you. I just unload it and I unload all the animal manure on it and it just goes crazy. These are my ladies. And this is, this is my daughter's pet, Barney. Barney is harmless. He doesn't get in the garden. He doesn't hurt anybody. So he stays. And this is how you collect your eggs over here? Oh yeah. How do you do it? You raise it up or? Nope. Yeah, I'll show you. This was made by a friend in South Carolina. Uh, met him through one of our gardening sites. He is awesome. He's a young man building a business. And man, is he busy. This is how you collect the eggs. And it's heavy duty. It just sticks because it's human. We have all kinds of chickens and pet rabbits. We're actually waiting on He's building us a set of new cages. So we're going to get rid of all the old. Now what kind of rabbit is this over here? It's a Rex. It's a Rex. Uh -huh. That's Bob. Everybody has names here. We don't eat our rabbits, we use them for the manure. Because the rabbit manure can go straight on. Is this a mom and a dad here, or? No, mama and daughter. Okay. Let me keep the dough. These are the girls. This is Nanny. Nanny and Pepper. This is Pepper. Not sure what her name is. Hello, Pepper. Come here. You want to see what we've got? Ooh, so you have food? You have food? We're hoping to milk them next year. They're real young, but they had their first set of kids. They did all did fantastic. Nanny had two, Pepper had two. A wild rabbit over there. That is not a wild rabbit. Well, that is the neighbor's rabbit who got loose and it lives over here. A loose rabbit. A loose rabbit over there. We thank you for joining us. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Also subscribe and share it with your friends. My friend and I were sitting in her house drinking some tea. And... Um, her daughter came out and went to, oh my gosh, I can't get this gate open. Her daughter came out and went outside to feed the animals. And um, I was watching and next thing I knew, the, the rooster that I got in the video earlier was following her around. And then she went over to bend down at the... Um, 
at the rabbit cage and the rooster followed her over there and as she was bent down he came over for her to pick him up I promise you I am not lying and that rooster let her carry him around for a good five minutes and I was like let me go get my camera let me go get my camera so I went to get my camera but she didn't sit him down you gonna pick him back up again oh So she wants to let him finish it. Yeah. Here. Hey, no fighting. No fighting. No. Oh. No, 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 no. This is not yours. This belongs to the end. Here. Come here. Nana. Nana. Nana, come here. Nana. Not you, Pepper. Come here, Nana. You guys are so So now their manure, can you take it and put it straight on the garden? No, I wouldn't use their manure on the garden. Oh, okay. okay. Just the rabbits. Okay. Yeah, just the rabbits. And next year we'll be milking, so. All right. And her baby patch isn't going to the sale tomorrow because we don't need another belly. We were hoping and for And Patches you. is that patches one right there? Patches is that one. Okay. Is Patches older than this one over here? Yes. Okay. She had her babies first, then she had one baby, and then Pepper had her babies last. Okay. Oh, okay. So the... That one right there, the one with the gray ears, belongs to her. He's going to the sale tomorrow, too. Okay, so And he's... that's a nanny. The nanny stays. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Thank you. I just wanted them to see that he was so sweet that he let you pick him up. <laughs> 